it going guys? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. It's your Fired Up Fridays. What we're talking about today guys is doing things you don't want to do. Yeah, there's a lot of them. But the problem is a lot of people don't realize when I say you got to follow your passion that there's going to be a lot of things along the way to make your passion realized and something that you can su sustainably do and earn an income with that you're going to have a lot of things along the way that you don't want to do. There's going to be times where you just don't want to build that website. You don't want to be a technical person. You might not want to work on your body. You might not want to do your spiritual work. You might not want to do your personal development. You might not want to do this, that, or the other thing. We're always going to have things we're passionate about. I'm very passionate about fitness. I'm very passionate about personal development. I'm not very passionate about technical things on a computer. I'm not very passionate about, um, you know, uh, certain social interactions that are um, beneficial to me, but not necessarily, um, I like to, I'm more of an introverted person. I like to spend a lot of time thinking and reflecting on things versus socializing and creating new situations that I have to um, analyze. So there's going to be a lot of things that you guys might not want to do all the time, but it's very important to realize that these things that you don't want to do are stepping stones to move you towards where you want to be. And to be the person you want to be, you're going to have to do the things you don't want to do. And sometimes for some things, working out for me is easy. For other people, it's going to be hard. Um, so it all depends on your own given weaknesses and strengths. And... Uh, you have to have that balance. You have to find that in between where you get it all done. The, the things that you're passionate about, you need to build those strengths and the things that you're weak, you need to identify them and learn how to either move around them, move through them, or overcome them. Uh, either way, some way or another, you have to figure out how to get them done. And there's a lot of different avenues. I mean, you can, you know, hire people on your team that are uh, beneficial and to your weaknesses, but that a lot of times takes money that um, some entrepreneurs, when they're first starting out, might not have the backing for. So it's going to really come down to you, your effort, your willingness to work, your willingness to sacrifice, your willingness to sit down and learn the skills that you need that you might not be that passionate about to build the thing that you are passionate about. It's uh, it's almost like a catch-22, guys. And, um, you know, one one part of the, uh, to this idea of ultimate happiness is finding, finding happiness and doing the things that you don't want to do. Finding happiness in everything that you do. In every moment, be grateful, be happy that you have this opportunity to do this. Too many times, I think, that when we're, um, we identify with the things that we're not good at, and that's what makes them, um, that's what makes them so so much of a burden to us. Uh, and we have to use discipline and willpower because we don't understand how to make all of our life enjoyable, every moment enjoyable, even doing the things that you don't want to do. That's part of reading, reaching your ultimate nature and your emotional state and your intellectual state is not letting your intellectual, rational mind affect your emotions and using your emotions, gaining control of your emotions to be able to output uh, happiness and bliss and joy through every act and every uh, being and every little intent and focus that you have in this world moving you towards your dreams. So, all that said guys, it is Friday. It is late on Friday. Um, I almost feel like most of you are going to see this video tomorrow because uh, right now it is like almost 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So uh, for the most of you, you guys are going to wake up on Saturday. This is going to be in your inbox. Hopefully you guys are watching these videos, gaining a little more insight and uh, moving yourselves forward. But take this weekend, find out the things that you don't like to do that are holding you back. That's part of this 30 day challenge. A lot of people have these major sidelining goals and it usually falls under things that they don't like to do things that they don't want to do that's holding them back, keep, keeping them from moving forward. So this weekend and these uh, 
next, what is it, uh, 22 days, wait, sorry, 28 days, um, take advantage of the time and this insight and knowing that you have to get the things done that you don't want to do. Make it uh, important, make it a must that you get these things done and uh, you'll see to it by the end of these 30 days that the things that you didn't want to do probably weren't really that hard to accomplish. You move past them um, and you gain new insight, new perspective and what you can do and you build and learn your skills which uh, down the line makes it that much easier so the things that you don't want to do become um, more within your uh, capabilities and it takes less time and you're more efficient and you don't have to spend as much time doing them. So take advantage, it's Fired Up Fridays guy, uh, hope to see you for the Weekend Warrior Series, take advantage of what you got guys, take advantage of this opportunity in this lifetime because this lifetime of this opportunity is past. <laughs> Max Fisher here from A Better Universe, your mind, body, spirit connection guys, later.